This is a local alcoholic spirit that they make called Soda B. It's very strong and we have to uh, spit it out four times. If you were ever wondering what followers of Vodou actually do, this is the video to watch. Today I'm at Plas Dancoli, a truly secret dugout off the side of the highway several miles outside of the capital city of Kotanu. Here in Benin, but all throughout West Africa, Vodou belief is one that is as respected as any of the traditional religions. In fact, some people practice both Christianity and Vodou, and here in Benin, it's an official religion. As a travel writer and journalist who has been all over the world, the last thing I thought I would be doing was taking part in real Vodou ceremonies. There is virtually no information about this place on the internet, so it was something I had to see for myself. When I arrived, I witnessed the clearing in the forest. A congregation was standing around two giant mounds, each representing a Vodun fetish that must be appeased for whatever you might be looking for. These mounds were about 50 to 20 feet high and roughly 150 years old. Mounds that have collected goat sacrifices, chicken bones and feathers, and palm oil, and a variety of other items that have just collected over time. These two mounds represent the male and female energy of the Dancoli fetish, hence the name of this hidden place, Place Dancoli. People from all over Benin and even neighboring countries come here to ask for help in love, finance, or good health. Many come with specific requests, and if the request comes true, it is required that followers come back to this very spot and complete the offering to this Vodou god. As far as I know, I am one of the first people to document this area for YouTube, but I even went a step further. With my cameras rolling, I asked the local spiritualists to assist me in making an offer We're to rolling. Call them. We're rolling. Okay, so I am here at this uh, Beninese voodoo fetish. There's a process by which you have to uh, make a wish and pay homage to these uh, voodoo fetishes. I'm gonna get an explanation on exactly what to do and in what order to do it in. I'm gonna explain it for you as well. Another first process, uh, is taking some of these nails with palm oil and nailing them in. This is the nail that I have to mallet in. And by the same time, you tell what you're ready to To make an offering to the fetish, there is definitely a step-by-step -step process involved. And these men, sort of bishops of the Vodou religion, helped me to do everything correctly. Okay, c'est bon. Right. This one here represents the uh, male fetish. Yeah, yeah. We have to go to the female so side not have you to not neglect her. Well, and we must do the same here. The palm oil is spread upon this fetish. Mm -hmm. yes. well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. C'est bon. C'est bon. Right. Okay, so we're finding out what we exactly have to do next. We come back to the male part. Follow me. And we're going to dump some more palm oil. And I'm going to eat. Offerings involve hard cash, goat meat, copious amounts of pungent red palm oil, and an incredibly strong grain liquor, all of which are sold at nearby stalls should anyone arrive empty handed. Okay. Next, this is a local alcoholic spirit that they make called Soda B. It's very strong, and we have to uh, spit it out four times. No, 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 no. Oof, that's strong. that's very strong. But now I believe we have to do the same thing. Holy Lord, that's strong. On the female side. Okay. Female, yeah. Okay. That's how it's done. Now that that it's finished, uh, we have to pay money to each fetish. When my wish comes true, I'm meant to return here and give them the gift that I've done. Okay, so I have 5,000 francs here, and what we're going to do is give uh, the first to the, the male. You have to speak to the money first, and then give it to the female. So we're going to do the male first. Here we go. Can you tell what you want? And we must give it to the female so she is not neglected. Well, now that that's finished, my wish should come true. And if it does, I'm meant to return here and we have to give to the fetishes what we promised. So hopefully, uh, 
things come true and we will be back in Benin soon. Okay, we've got four additional fetishes that we have to visit before we leave here today. These fetishes are meant to help you during your journey um, upon your return to repay your debt here. Um, all these people here right now are making wishes. They're meant to return if their wish comes true and repay their debt. These four uh, last fetishes, this first one is called the twin. Uh, I must pour palm oil uh, upon it to wish me safe travels uh, through life and especially upon return. So this is the first one. The second fetish also to help with travels and for a safe return to repay our debts to the male and female fetishes of this village in Northern Benin. Number three. And finally, the fourth and final fetish, which represents a phallic symbol to give us strength, good health, good energy, good luck coming back here to repay our debt. This is Beninese voodoo. You can really smell the corn and the oil pouring off of this thing. There's chicken feathers, chicken beaks, meat. And it's quite amazing to know that this has been standing here growing um, by height for, for hundreds of years. Um, these fetishes, these piles, especially these larger burning fetishes have been here for hundreds of years. People still come to this remote area of North Benin. There's, there, I've seen absolutely no tourists here. There are no Westerners around. Um, you really, ha we really had to go out of our way to get here. So it was quite special um, for me to be able to show you this. There hasn't been a lot of this kind of coverage um, in this particular roadside uh, fetish uh, area. It's incredibly hot. It smells. You should really smell the smoke of all the all the fire. You see the chicken feathers everywhere. The sacrifices that have been happening here daily for hundreds of years. You smell the death in the air. Seriously, you really see people coming here hoping that their wishes will be answered by these fetishes. Uh, people take this very seriously. This is not a roadside attraction. This is Beninese voodoo for real. And uh, this is how it's done.